Do you think that the established car companies, I mean, like, you know, we see companies such as Canoe, uh, Lucid, Tesla to a certain degree, they have to do things a little bit differently. The teams are much smaller, of course, mm -hmm. uh, as well, because like the financial restrictions are just there. Um, they don't have billions and billions to spend as companies. They don't have been in existence for such a long time, but obviously have fewer pressures as well. Do you think that the big companies are ready for these this, this new kind of designer like you know the idea of uh someone like sasha silipanov being able to do their own 3d model maybe not necessarily need a 3d model on along their side thinking completely in uh with 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 alias maybe don't even need a clay model anymore that's of course a whole different story but you know do do you think that these big companies are ready for this flexibility and understanding this flexibility also in their working pipeline to really use these kind of kids that come out in the best possible way, uh, also giving them what you've mentioned in the beginning, the opportunity to do both interior, exterior, or maybe interior and U UI or UX, like not to the fully detailed level, but you know, understand the entire experience. Are, are they ready or are they, are they just behind at the moment because of their structure and process? Well, I think it's very case by case. Um, you know, I think the industry, just because of its size and the amount of capital investment involved, moves really slowly in terms of like cultural changes. So, um, you know, some companies are going to say they want the Renaissance designer who can do everything and anything, and they'll hire them. And but that designer may not be stimulated enough. So it's up to up to the um, whether it be HR or the design management to keep this person engaged um, in a meaningful way. Um, and if they're happy just doing one thing, you know, that's fine. But um, I know that students who truly think about like, I, I, I feel like I'm in danger of just paying lip service to uh, like the design process and human-centered design just because it's it's so it's it's become so common these terms thrown around now um but i think that the young people are wanting more meaning in what they do beyond a paycheck so i think um if if these larger companies um more conservative larger companies truly want that renaissance designer it's going to be their challenge to keep them engaged inspired in a meaningful way so that they feel like they're doing something with purpose in their life and certainly these these renaissance designers are uh you know they get they get multiple offers you know those are the ones that um you know they'll get three four five offers and uh and they'll pick and choose who they want to go to and um and they're also the young people that is they're also very interested to discover um what the new companies are all about and they have the energy to work you know um the extra hours as well in the startup culture um, i know that students they that uh that go to tesla uh honda advanced studio um zooks um those those guys are are really engaged guys and girls they're they're really engaged in their work because they're switching their roles um almost you know daily if not in the same day um having to change gears from ui to exterior or from an interior component to um to something so broad like what wide open question like what will the you know future user experience be enabled by autonomous driving you know where, where are the opportunities there i mean this is that talk about a white paper you know 